Please excuse the state of me. I haven't slept properly for about three days. Um, welcome to Dose Daily yet again. My third video. Um, I won't be counting them all the time, but ugh, I just am at the moment. Um, today I'm kind of talking about that new law thing to be passed in Egypt. I don't know whether some of you have heard of it. Um, from what I've been reading, I have researched on it a little bit. Um, there's a lot of people saying it's true. And there's some people saying it's not true. If I get any of this wrong, don't be afraid to comment down below and tell me. Or at my Twitter or whatever. Just, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Because I don't want to, like, let everyone know this is what's happening. It's definitely real. Because I don't even know myself. But from what I've gathered from this, it's pretty sick. So basically... In Egypt, they're allowing a law for husbands to have farewell sex with their wives um, up to six hours after they've died. Um, I personally find that quite sick. I can't even imagine a husband getting excited in that way to even have farewell sex with her in the first place. Um, I think it's just wrong. I really do just think it's wrong and what kind of person would allow their body to be defiled in that way? I mean, there was a joke a while back, you know, a necrophilia joke and they say dead girls can't say no, but that's taking it a little bit too far. Um, yeah, they can't say no, but they can't say yes either. So, not only is it necrophilia, does that count as rape too? I don't know. To me, it's just really, really sick. Um, a Moroccan cleric called Zam Zami Abdul Bari, if I've pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry. He said that uh, marital bonds exist even after a partner dies. So does that mean that even after the woman has dead, that she must still look after the children and cook the dinner? Does that mean after the husband has died, does that mean that he has, still has to go out and go to work? Or is it only specifically for sex? Because yeah it's looking that way it's like one rule for you another rule for me and a lot of countries like egypt um not just egypt but there are a lot of countries that um tend to see things quite one-sided and i'm lucky being in england because of course women have like, we are practically equal to men. I won't say we exactly are, because there are still quite a few little things. But I'm content with how things are, and there are still some people, you know, bra burners and things like that. I mean, I'm content with how things are. I can't really see a problem in today's society in England. But other countries don't have the same things we do. Um which is one of the reasons I'm very grateful to be here and other reasons that the spiders aren't as big as they are in Australia um, <laughs> and Zamzami Barry also said that women should have the same rights um, like with their dead husbands as the men do with their wives um, I don't know much about death but I know that when someone's dead they're dead. Can they still get an erection? I mean, how is a man going to get an erection for the woman to even have sex with him after he's it, after he's dead? To me, this seems very one-sided. I don't know. I'm, it just seems that it's it's a law that's being you know, or they're trying to get through for their own sick, selfish needs. 
and it's the sort of place, um, it's the sort of time when you think, that's not right, I really don't agree with this. And the thing is, as I said before, in those sort of countries, the women can't really back themselves up. And I'm backing up that comment with um, also another law they're trying to pass. Oh, I don't know whether this has actually been passed yet, but they're lowering the age of marriage to 14 and they're also trying to revoke, or whether they have done it, I don't know, um, women's rights of education and employment. So not only do women have no rights about whether they have sex after they're dead, but now they can't get a job and they can't go to school. Um, being someone who messed around a lot in school, um, you know, I threw away so much, you know, but I still, you know, I still left with a lot of good grades sort of thing. I don't think it's fair for them to turn around and say that women can't go to school. It, it, this isn't, you know, back in the day when oh, girls did all the sewing and boys worked on farms. It isn't like that anymore. And people shouldn't be made to think that it is. It's not fair. And this has really got to me, not because I'm a feminist or anything. It's because this sort of law, these sort of laws, don't make sense. It's the sort of thing you would see in, you know, or read in a book from another realm. Or one of those dark fantasy books written by someone on crack. Oh, I just can't see it happening. And I, for one, really hope everything I've mentioned so far doesn't happen. If it has already, then this world has gone to the shit. But if it hasn't, then I'm really, really, really hoping it doesn't. Because this is just wrong. It's wrong on so many levels. But like I said, if I've got it wrong in any way, just let me know. Because I still want to, you know, learn more on this and find out what the hell is going on. Um... Yeah, I'd like to keep up with this. I'll probably, when I find out more on the situation, I'll probably let you know. Um, but as I'm only doing a video once a week, um, oh, sorry, I don't feel well. The I'm so tired. Um, you'll probably hear the news before I actually get to announce it, so I might do something on my personal channel as well. Um, Kawaii Vixen. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say on that. Um, like I said, I haven't slept properly in three days. Um, I think it's nearly one o'clock in the morning now, of Saturday morning. I'll upload this later on in today. Um, also, apologies for Friday's video. It didn't go up for unknown reasons as of yet. But, um, no problem. I'm sure you'll see Mike again on Friday. Um, Friday coming. Um, hopefully. We'll sort something out for that anyway. I'm sorry if you were looking for his video and you got me instead for Saturday. It looks like we completely missed it, but it's okay. Next week we'll resume usual service. Oh, I got bored in the car earlier and drew all the lines in my hand. Yeah, that's how cool I am. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this Egypt story. Let me know what you think of it, if I got anything wrong, and if there's anything you want to add to it, because I'll just put it all in next week, as well as whatever I've got planned for then. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next Saturday, and enjoy the rest of Dose Daily. Take care. Bye.